Yo, what's going on guys? It's Snowy here. We have the season seven release. This release just came out today for Rocket League. Let's talk about what we have going on for us. All right, yeah, so the Maestro is pretty cool. Let's take a quick look at the Rocket Pass rewards here. We have uh, this decal, which makes the Maestro, it's the Maestro, right? Yeah, the Maestro looks a little more classy if you use this decal, it's kind of nice. I like that. Then we have the rocket boost. I don't care too much for that one. Uh, this banner looks pretty nice. Good design there. I would say these wheels are these wheels are alright. They're called uh, 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 Atroid. Uh, Acroid? I don't know. Uh, very cool anima animated decal. Oh my, that is that is that is crisp. I would use that decal. I like that a lot. Uh, title kind of a big deal. That's pretty funny. Then we have uh, Deco Dare, limited paint edition. Uh, I mean, limited paint finish. That's pretty nice, I like that. And then uh, some song soundtrack. I don't have soundtracks enabled. Uh, you get some credits, you get these wheels. These wheels look kind of nice as well. Uh, you, know, you Now you have a trail here. I don't really care too much about this like uh, ball sphere thing. It's whatever. Glasses. I mean, I don't really like it. Then we have a gold banner there. That gold banner is classy. I like that. Another decal for the maestro. And I think it looks good. Uh, golden goalkeeper. Eh, yeah, it's a funny title. Uh, dragonfly. I like the dragonfly. Then we have these wheels. Those are, those are uh, not as good as the ones before, IMO. Uh, another paint finish. I do like that paint finish. It's almost like a, it's like triangles kind of. And then that decal is uh, kind of silly. It's uh, it's cool. All right. Uh, some more wheels. Those are okay. Uh, player banner. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool player banner. Uh, another decal. I like that. Animated and nice. And then just a old school antenna. Cool. Uh, a lister. Uh, some other wheels that look awful. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. All right, and then another uh, paint finish there. Uh, that's interesting. Goal explosion. That's neat. It's not the greatest, but it's neat. Uh, sushi. Sushi, sushi, sushi. All right, cool. Uh, and then, ooh, I like that player banner. Super sick. These wheels, those are kind of crisp. I would use those wheels. Uh, and then uh, antenna, it's all right. Oh my, that is clean as hell. I really like that. Some other wheels. Uh, and, another, and another decal. And then we have uh, another paint finish. And some more wheels. And then a decal for the maestro. So far, I feel like, ooh, this trail is kind of nice. Wheels, nah. Uh, this decal is a lot to look at. Uh, this decal is kind of cool, I like that. Uh, Avatar border is, uh, that one's even cooler, I think, than the previous one. Uh, some more wheels. Uh, another cool animated decal, oh my. Uh, and then the jellyfish, the jellyfish is, uh, the jellyfish is really cute, I like that. Phoenix fire. Uh, a lot of the boosts, I, I like pretty standard boosts. These wheels are crappy. This title is kind of cool. Red carpet ready. I like that. And then we have another animated decal, which uh, a lot of these animated decals are looking super sick. Some more wheels, blah, and whatever. Cool goal explosion. Love that. That was sick. Uh, and then another animated decal, except it's the cobalt version. I think we've reached where it starts repeating itself and it starts using different colors. Ooh, to get the black version of this one. I really want to get the black painted version. Oh man, it's going to be so sick. All right, so those were the rewards for uh, this current season that we're on. Uh, honestly, I got to say it might be the best season reward. Well, yeah, season, not season rewards, but season battle pass or season pass, not battle pass, season pass pretty fucking cool i like it a lot very neat then we have the new arena that they added uh it's called utopia coliseum gilded it looks 
incredible. So this is the new arena that you can find in free play and that you can also use in private matches. Uh, let's let's take a peek at it. First off, just from the menu screen, that looks really nice. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. It's like, it's like, am I am I sitting on water right here? Oh, that's neat looking. And then this is like a a nice stone floor. Wow, that's really cool. Oh my. Wow. It looks incredible. Sorry for the frames there for a second. Yeah, this is a really neat stadium. Uh, for some reason, it I feel like it's a little big. Is it bigger than a normal arena? It could just be like an optical illusion, but like, who knows, you know? Uh, it's, it's, it's really cool and then but it, it's got like the same stadium as like champions field it looks like out there to on the other side you have like some buildings they look really cool well this arena is pretty cool so let's just hit a quick breezy and uh, we'll get on out of here we've received our season six rewards so uh, let's check them out real quick uh, so if we go to our car and we go to our decals, we should see here, uh, we have the Season 6 Bronze. It looks kind of like a chocolate soda. I know that sounds weird, but I've had a chocolate soda before. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, and then we have the Silver one. Silver is kind of crisp. I like that. The Platinum one. Uh, I think the silver one looks a little bit nicer. Then we have gold, which is all right. I wonder if uh, you can get a gold octane. Uh, that would be really cool to match those together. And then the diamond one, uh, which I think that is a very nice blue, vibrant blue. I like that. Then the champion one, that's cool. And then the grand champion one. Right on. Uh, they're just car decals. Uh, honestly, I think uh, I think overall they could have been better. These uh, these rewards could have been better, but for what they are, they look nice. I guess. I just think that you could have a cooler decal. I think if you hit like, I honestly think that the the decal should look cooler the higher rank you go. I don't know some incentive uh, for having a higher rank reward. I guess. And then, uh, you know, you can see in the bottom left, I have the Season 6 Grand Champion. They have, like, those titles for Supersonic Legend and then all the extra modes and stuff like that. And then we have uh, some additional patch notes. We'll, we'll check out these patch notes after we read the rest of what's on this page here. So we have Season 7 Rocket Pass. In the Season 7 Rocket Pass, featuring the new car Maestro has begun. Maestro uses the Dominus hitbox. I could see how that would use the Dominus hitbox. It, uh, I don't know if it's going to be that flat. Maybe we could tell, you know, by when I showed it earlier. But uh, then we have our tournaments. So Season 7 tournaments are now available. Any unspent Season six tournament credits automatically convert into rewards tournament credits have converted to the highest level reward you are capable of earning based on your tournament rank and the amount of tournament credits you have remaining okay challenges stage one challenges for season seven are now live okay all normal stuff all normal stuff competitive season uh, season seven competitive has started uh Season 7 changes, a soft reset has been applied to all competitive playlists similar to previous seasons. By the way, I already looked at that. It seems to be about a 70 MMR drop is what you can expect. New content, we know about the arena. Don't know what the Select Favorites 2 Blueprint series is. Blueprint items from the Select Favorites 2 series will begin dropping on 6.16. So, we have yet to see what's to come for that. Then we have some Pride Month items. The Shine Through Bundles available for free in the item shop at 9 a.m. PDT today through 7 12 2022. So these are for free. So if you go to the item shop, you can pick these up completely for free. Let's see what they look like. All right, so this is what they look like in the item shop. You have the, uh, I think you say, uh, Sequin? I don't know. I'm prob I probably sound dumb for saying it like that. I probably said it wrong, but 
uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. It's a uh, looks very glittery, so it's pretty cool. And then you have a topper with uh, some nice vibrant colors. And I didn't realize that these are just player anthems. I don't use player anthems, so I don't hear them. But um, let me know what you guys think of these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and claim this bundle. So these are the additional patch notes from the season seven update. We have uh, season seven begins at this time. Looking for additional patch notes detailing season seven before the season begins. Blah, blah, blah. We already know about the stadium. Okay, custom training updates. Read more about the changes to custom training here. I mean, to be completely honest, I use Bacchus mod. I'd highly suggest using Bacchus mod, um, honestly. Or you can use the default, like, so you can set the ball on top of the car and stuff like that, but it doesn't really matter. But you can now complete shots in a training pack in any order that you want. That's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I guess, like, if there was a specific shot that you liked from a training pack, you could just skip to that and practice that shot instead of having to, like, fail a shot beforehand. That's that's kind of cool. Training pack progress is now... Is now I was gonna say scheduled but I mean included in game save data oh okay you uh, so you can have a uh, progress now in your training packs so uh, you can also reset that progress on any training pack cool that uh, these these are some cool updates here you know especially like for game like like Rocket League where you know not many changes happen to the core me game mechanics uh, to have some stuff like this to improve your skills the player is pretty cool here's a little picture of the in training screen from here you can jump back into the pack change to a different game mode change the training back or go back to the main menu this screen will appear the first time you complete every shot in a training pack and anytime you complete all the shots in a pack after resetting progress this screen will automatically appear if you are using a training pack that has already been completed if its progress hasn't been reset okay so that's to tell you what shots you've completed Painted items. Now you can sort by the paints of your painted items in your inventory. That's pretty cool. I like that. Gold paint has been added. Gold is a nice color. Great addition there. Player behavior. This this could be good. some good changes, right? Uh, especially to people who just grief their teams. Uh, we have made changes and improvements on how we track and take action against in-game griefing and scoring on your own team. In quotes, own goalie. If you witness any griefing or own goaling during a match, please use the match throwing griefing report reason. This will lead to a disciplinary action under the unsportsman unsportsmanlike conduct 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 ban reason. I don't so hard for me to say that word right now for some reason. When a player is banned, a report feedback notification is sent to all players who sent in eligible reports for match showing slash griefing. So if someone's scoring goals on the own goal, which people do do because some people are jerks, uh, you can report them and they'll get banned. That's cool. Uh, although I I wonder if it's tricky sometimes, like sometimes you don't mean to own goal, like you're going for a save. I hope they have a way to decipher you know if it was intentional or not and it's not just like a automatic you were the last person to touch the ball because that'd be kind of messed up uh general similar to the new shot control and custom training ball controls and free play now display at all times in the upper left corner and if you have Bacchus mod it'll hide that still some bug fixes uh, let's see if there's any prominent ones here. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Mm. Uh, fixed a bug causing a player's rank to show up as unranked on the post-match scoreboard. I don't know if you guys know about last season, but last season basically <laughs> is kind of funny. It just never showed my rank next to my name on the scoreboard. Now that's fixed. All right, well, this is season seven. Uh, you know, some neat cosmetic ch uh, changes. We have the gold paint. You can sort by the paints in the inventory. We have the pride items and we have this uh, the, the pass rewards. 
we also have the new arena. I don't know if I already said that, but uh, some cool cosmetic stuff. So I think it's going to be some cool stuff. I mean, you know, it's Rocket League. Not, not a whole lot can change uh, other than just cool cosmetics and adding these nice added benefits you know like helping helping just the quality of the gameplay you know so that's really good i think they did a great job and uh if you guys like the video please hit the like button if you want to see more of my content subscribe to the channel thanks have a great day